Is it safe for black skin to have a chemical peel? You have to be careful. You can treat a whole variety of skin conditions and improve those skin conditions with visible results. We also use them, for example, for fine lines and wrinkles, acne, acne scarring, different types of pigmentation, such as melasma, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, and even freckles. We use them to reduce oiliness and also we use them to improve the texture of the skin. Hi ladies, I'm Dr. Simi, former surgeon, current GP and cosmetic doctor. Welcome to my channel where we discuss all things skin and women's health. So in today's video, I want to talk to you about whether it's safe to have a chemical peel if you've got black skin. You will be learning about what chemical peels are, what they do to our skin. I'll be answering your questions about whether it's safe for black skin, whether it's going to cause you to burn, whether you should be avoiding them or not. So let me explain what a chemical peel is. A chemical peel just means that we are applying skincare acids to the skin to cause shedding of the most superficial skin cells. So we want these cells to be exfoliated because it gives certain benefits to the skin. The question that I'm asked frequently is, is it safe for black skin to have a chemical peel? I'm talking about any skin basically, which is tan, olive, brown or black. So the short answer is yes, it is safe. And I often recommend chemical peels to my patients. When we are doing chemical peels, there are three broad classifications. So these are superficial, medium and deep. Now superficial chemical peels are quite safe for black skin and medium chemical peels are also safe, but you need to be more careful when treating black skin. Deep chemical peels we don't tend to recommend for black skin because there's a high risk of having pigmentation and of scarring. In black skin, one of the main concerns and one of the main side effects is forming post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which means that anywhere where the skin has been irritated, you get pigmentation. And this is why it's so important that when you're treating skin of color, you know how to manage this and to minimize it. The first thing that I would recommend is please do your research. Don't be lazy and don't necessarily go for the best offer that's on the market. Choose your specialist carefully. Make sure that they're used to treating skin of color. They've got before and after pictures to show you and that they're really comfortable with our skin and they know how it reacts and how to manage it if it starts to become too irritated. When I'm doing chemical peels on black skin, my philosophy is to start low and go slow. So what I mean by that is that I will start off with the gentler acids at lower concentrations and then I will build up gradually. And sometimes it can be difficult because the patient really wants their skin to be bright, they want to get rid of this pigmentation and they're just like, do you know what, just give me the strong one, I just, I just want to get rid of it. And it's one of those situations where stronger is not always better. It is possible to treat the skin too quickly or to use acids that are too aggressive or to use the wrong ingredient or even the right ingredient, but the wrong concentration. And any of these things can cause black skin to form discoloration. And this can either be hyperpigmentation where you have um, dark patches or it can be hypopigmentation where you have lighter patches of skin. And actually this is more difficult to treat than hyperpigmentation. This is why a lot of skin specialists are really scared to treat black skin because when someone comes to you for a chemical peel because of pigmentation, the last thing you then want to cause to happen is more pigmentation. And because our skin is unpredictable, you can treat two patients with similar tones of um, black skin with the same acids and the same strengths and they can have completely different reactions. So it doesn't seem to matter how trivial the trauma or injury or inflammation in the case of spots or acne that's affecting the skin, it is enough for our melanocytes to produce extra pigment, which they are doing because they have become irritated. I can confirm that. I had a spot on my cheek, which I deliberately did not squeeze or touch. And when it healed, I was left behind with pigmentation. If you've ever nicked yourself, even slightly when shaving your legs or underarms, you may notice that 
you get pigmentation. Eczema, which is really common in black skin, that gives patches of pigmentation as well. The problem with the pigmentation is sometimes it's worse than the issue that was causing it in the first place. Pigmentation is one of those things that really affects skin of color. And this is why it's so important that when you're treating skin of color, you know how to manage this and to minimize it. The other thing to do when treating skin of color with a chemical peel is to make sure that we prep the skin. So in my clinic, I like to prep the skin for a minimum of two weeks. Now, not all chemical peels require skin prep. Some of the really superficial ones, you can just go on and get on with the peel without prepping the skin. But in the majority of cases, I will need to prep that skin for at least two weeks before my patient comes in for their chemical peel. They will need to be using some home care which work to reduce the amount of pigment that the melanocytes are making. By treating the skin in this way and almost like you're pressing the snooze button on the melanocyte. When you come to do the chemical peel two weeks later, the melanocytes are not so reactive, which means that you're less likely to form hyperpigmentation. So the next important step when treating black skin with chemical peels is sunscreen. And all of you that are already my patients know how much I go on about sunscreen, 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 sunscreen. And I can already hear some of you going, I don't need sunscreen because black don't crack. Let me tell you this, black does crack. It just cracks more slowly. Aside from that, if you are having a chemical peel, your skin will be more sensitive to UV radiation. And UV radiation is not just around when it's sunny, it's around during the daytime. So if there is daylight, there is UV radiation. UV radiation from daylight, even on cloudy, rainy days, will stimulate your melanocytes to form pigment. And actually, if you are spending your hard-earned money on chemical peels and home care, then you really wanna get the best result that you can get. And it just makes no sense to me to have all of these treatments to lift pigmentation and then not to prevent the pigmentation from occurring in the first place. So sunscreen is a must and it's so important. If my patient tells me that they are not going to use sunscreen, I will refuse to do a chemical peel on their skin. It's just not safe um, and it's counterproductive. Another precaution to take when you are having a chemical peel is do not, I repeat, please do not peel off the skin before it's ready to come off. I know it's so tempting. And actually not all chemical peels cause you to peel. The very superficial chemical peels may not cause you to peel at all. And in fact, some of my patients will say to me, is it working? I haven't noticed any peel. Um, some superficial peels might just give a little bit of what I call skin dandruff, where you just get tiny flakes, which might not be noticeable unless someone comes quite close to you. But the other peels, so for example, the medium depth peels, they can really make you peel. What's happening though is that the skin underneath will be regenerating and renewing itself and it will eventually push off the dead skin cells. If you rip these off, or some people think that it's a good job to exfoliate them off because then they're not ripping them off, but you know, they're exfoliating them off either with scrubs or with, you know, loofers. Um, even that's not a good idea because the skin underneath is not yet ready to be exposed. So please leave them alone. If you don't, you are at risk of irritating those melanocytes and forming hyperpigmentation. So I hope you can see that chemical peels are safe to use in black skin, but there are certain steps that you need to do and certain steps that the skin specialist also needs to do to make sure that we solve your problem, improve the health of your skin and all without causing hyperpigmentation. So please make sure that you check out the other videos on my channel where I talk about hyperpigmentation. I show you times when I've done chemical peels on myself and on my patients. And as always, if you've got any questions, I would love to answer your questions. Please just put them down in the comments section below.